Hello, my name is Mustafa Mikatria from Smart RTOS. Today's tutorial is about Sprint from Agile. We did the first tutorial that explained that Agile basically it's we take all the requirements from the clients and we're going to bring them down to pieces to make it easy for us. And after that, the Sprint part comes. When it's done, we have all the requirements. Let's say requirement now, one, two, and a three. The sprint is usually is a time like this. We say it like a time like this, it's around two to four weeks. Some some companies make it only until six weeks. That's it depends on your product. In our case, let's make it two weeks. But before we start, we need to analyze and simplify these requirements. And this is the job of the product owner. The product owner we takes these requirements and build what we call the product blog. Log. Blog log. That's very important. When it's done, it's going to give this product block log to the team. Here the team will, will work. The team will make the sprint planning. The sprint planning basically is just a meeting where the team is going to talk about how to make the task, clarify them, that's very important, estimate the time and make the commitment. And during this sprint, play, sprint planning, they're going to make what we call the sprint block log. When it's done, no one, and I said no one can change this sprint block log for the team. This sprint block log will serve also to track all the progress of the team. Track progress. That's very important. When the job is done, at the end, the team will do what we call the sprint review. The sprint review basically is just a meeting, very short meeting, not fancy with PowerPoint or something else, very simple. And the goal is to understand what we have done as positive things and what we have to avoid. That's it. But never, never emphasize on criticize, not never criticize anyone, just to see what was good and what has to be improved. That's very important. As you can see, the sprint is easy to understand. The first thing you have to do or you have to think about when we talk about sprint, one, the product owner has to make the product block lock to make to bring these requirements to the team that's very important so the product owner we make the product block block okay the team will set up a meeting what we call the sprint planning and during the sprint planning they will come up with what we call the sprint block block let's make three this sprint block log will serve also to track all the progress of the team. Track progress, because that's very important to track what you're going to do. And at the end, we make what we call, the team will make the sprint review. It's a meeting, short meeting. We are going to talk about what was good and what has to be improved. Always positive. At the end, we have kind of product, version one, two, three, whatever. This is the product. It's like shippable product, it's okay. It's not what the client and because we are going to repeat this sprint for this part, for this part, and for this part too. Product version, I don't know, let's say 2.1 or whatever. Okay, this is how it works. As you can see, it's very easy and straightforward. And this is what we call the sprint. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any question, feel free to send me an email on smart at gmail.com. See you on the next tutorial. Bye.